this video you will learn the basics of Elementor and how it works with WordPress. It's important to know how WordPress works with Elementor and your WordPress theme so you will not waste a lot of time trying to figure it out by yourself. My friend Reno is going to walk you through step by step so you know how to do it. So let's get started. Take it away Reno. What do we need to understand? The difference between Elementor for free and Elementor Pro? Why you need a theme and what WordPress does? To simplify it, a website is nothing more than a few pages that are connected with each other. A page consists of a menu with a logo and some menu items, uh, the content of the page and the footer. The menu and the footer appear on all pages and the content within those pages uh, is different on all pages. So to edit these pages, you will need to go to the backend of WordPress. WordPress is the interface where all of your pages are, your plugins, your team and your settings, uh, which you can only see when you log in. So back in the days, you would download a team somewhere on the internet, uh, which would give you a lot of options to edit your pages, your menu and your footer. Uh, for every page, you would go to a specific edit page, where you could play around with the settings of that page. Then you would save it and check if your changes worked out on the live page. This meant that you had to go back and forth all the time to see if it worked out in the way you wanted. Also, all of the teams had different options, but no team had all the options. So oftentimes you would stumble upon limitations of that team and you would need custom code to get the page that you want. This was how Elementor worked for years. But then something new hit the market. The page builders like Elementor. With a page builder you can skip the edit page and go straight to the live page. You will get a sidebar with different options and you can drag and drop different elements on the page. This means that you don't need to use the difficult edit page anymore and build up your pages super fast with an experience that's similar to a design tool. The only reason you will still need your team is to run Elementor because Elementor cannot run without a team and you will need your team to edit your menu and your footer. So let's build our first page. So here I am on the free version of Elementor on a blank new page and I can just drag the elements out of Elementor on my website. So for example, I can just drag a video on a canvas and then I can place a YouTube link in here and I just have a video on my website. Or for example, if I click here, I can add a title. Super easy. And I can type the title here. This is a title. I can drag a button and make it linked to a website that I want. Things like an image gallery, a progress bar, or for example, a testimonial, where you can change the photo, the text, uh, and everything about it. And then if I just click publish, the website is saved and this page is live. And if you have no inspiration for what to put on your page, they have this, templates. And these are fully designed templates that you can click on uh, to get some inspiration. And what's even better is that you can insert them. So if you have a template that's similar to the website you want to create, you just click on insert and then this whole page is inserted into your page and then you can change that page. So let's just try that for now. Let's insert this page. And now I need to zoom out a little bit because my screen is too small. But now this whole page is inserted into my page and I can just change the text in here. So for example, featured courses. And if I then click update, this page is also live. So this is, this is super cool. Uh, but for people who want to make their own design and don't want to rely on a design from somebody else, they also have something great and that's called blocks. So that's what you find here. And with these blocks, you can build up a page really fast because these are the blocks, the sections on every page. So let's say you want to build your own portfolio. So you've made a little sketch, uh, just on paper with a first section and you want a big video in the background here. You want some text, then you want your services section and you want three parts here. And then you maybe want a image gallery for your work. And then maybe you want some contact information with a map. So let's say this is what you want to build. And this is where the categories come in. So they already have the most common categories here in the block. So if you click on hero, that's like the upper section of your website, uh, you can already insert something like we've sketched on paper. For example, let me zoom out, something like this. And then you can replace this image background with a video. So now, if you want to add our services block, we just go to services, because they also have a services uh, tab. 
and then you will be like oh this section looks like what I want so you insert that and then you have your services section maybe you just want one row so you delete this one super easy now we're gonna add our portfolio section they also have a portfolio section so for example check out my work something like this boom you have your portfolio now at last we want a contact uh, place so something like this which I've sketched on paper and there you have it there's there's your contact section all right so this is this is super cool and now we have all those blocks on top of each other uh, but now of course you want to change the design to your fonts and your colors so so let's just say for example we want to change this title so we click on the title and then there's this style tab and within the style tab we can super easy change the color for example right or we can change the font size because we think it's too big we can even change the font itself so make it something like this or the font that I use and now this looks already a little bit more unique uh, but now I have my other titles and they've made it really easy this is also so cool they have copy and paste so if you click right click on the title you click copy you go up you go to another title and you click right click and you click paste style he's copying the style so that that makes it really fast and really easy to change a whole page in like 10 seconds right um, so if you paste this style now you see it's middle aligned because this text is also middle aligned so if it's left aligned you can click here and then you just click on alignment and then it's left super easy super fast and if you click save it's life now we've just designed a simple page that you can save and it's life this works great for simple websites that don't change, but oftentimes a website is more than just a few static pages. Most websites have sections that change a lot. For example, a blog with blog posts, or a web shop with product pages, a search result. If you have just Elementor for free, you would still need a team to edit those pages, with of course the limitations. So if you also want to design those dynamic pages on your website, you will need Elementor Pro. Also, with Elementor Pro, you can design your own menu and footer. So as you can see here, you can design the header, the footer, your blog items. What's also a nice benefit about Elementor Pro is that they have a lot more templates, right? Because as you can see, a lot of those blocks are only available uh, when you buy Pro. So for example, on these pages, you will see this first five are free, but then a lot of them have this Pro icon. So if you want all the templates that they provide, um, you would also need Pro. Also, they will give you a lot more widget, right? Because this is pretty limited. Um, it's already super nice what you can do with the free version. Um, but for example, I'm here on a website where Elementor Pro is installed. Uh, you would have this new section, right? You, so you could add sliders. You could add a extra uh, navigation menu. Uh, you can insert a form, your own contact form. And most importantly, you can uh, insert your blog post and design them yourself. And also, when you're designing bigger websites, you will have a lot of elements that are the same on every page. Um, and if you only have the free version and something changes, you would need to change every page manually. And that's not a really nice experience, so that's why in Pro they have uh, this thing called template. So if you think like, okay, this part um, I'm going to use on all the pages on my website, you can click on it and click on save as a template. And then if you change something inside of the template, uh, it will change on all the pages, right? So if you're building bigger websites, um, you would want that template uh, feature, trust me. And what's also really great about the Pro version is that they have a role manager and role manager allows you to uh, limit uh, what the clients can do. So if you're working for a client and you want them to edit uh, the text only, but not mess up your design they have a role manager so for example you add a user a wordpress user and you give them their own email and their own login you can say they can only um, edit the content and then they can only edit the, uh, the text and the images um, and if you give them you know all access they can just mess up your whole website and you need to start over so that's also a really nice feature uh, if you're working with clients 
So if you want to get started, the download link for Elementor Free is in the description. I've also put the link for Elementor Pro and there's also a recommendation for hosting if you don't have hosting yet. I will make a video very soon on how to install Elementor and WordPress on your hosting. So if you don't know how to do that, you should wait for that video. But chances are the video is already live when you're watching this, so check the description. Now you know the basics of using Elementor with WordPress and your WordPress theme. You can see it's not really hard at all. Hey, I am only 12 years old, so if I can understand this, then I'm sure you can. Make sure to check out the links below in the description for more videos about Elementor and WordPress. Also, since you took the time to watch this video, I'm giving you free access to some of my paid courses. You will find links to them below this video in the description area. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure to like and click this video for more great training. Take good care, and see you later.